you like my shirt? <laughs> this, this, this is a funny story because I got this shirt for like nothing. I got it for like four bucks at a Zara sale and it's like the coolest, spaciest looking shirt I own. Hello everyone, my name is Monica and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new, I have gained so many subscribers lately and I have a bunch of people to thank for that. But first of all, I really want to thank Rachel from The Shades of Orange. Rachel did an amazing shout out about me and my videos and I did notice, I was noticing people were subscribing and I was like, what is going on? And then I saw Rachel's videos because I never miss any of Rachel's videos. And it just warmed my heart. I'm, I'm so happy that you are all here, um, those of you that subscribe through Rachel. And then also, we hit 1K. We hit 1K and I couldn't be happier. I, 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 when I started this channel, this that wasn't even in the realm of possibilities for me. I never imagined that would happen. So thank you so much to all of you because we did it on birthday week. And well, I was thinking of how I could commemorate birthday week with 1k because a lot of you people are new here and maybe you have some questions for me some questions that you would like answered about me about my channel about my heritage about the fact that i was an illegal immigrant twice whatever you want <laughs> you can ask it down below i also asked on twitter please um if you ever want to hear me ramble a lot or read me ramble a lot about a great deal many things follow me on twitter but anyway this intro is already long enough and i really want to get this video up so <laughs> let's get right to it so just another disclaimer before i start this video i am a very lucky woman and this i don't think is a normal pile of books to get for your birthday but the thing is nobody gets me anything but for my birthday but books that's the reality. I also have some amazing internet friends. I will be linking everyone's channel who sent me something up above and also shouting out to the people that I love that got me books for my birthday. Literally nobody gets me anything else. I got a pair of gloves and books. So let's run, let's jump right into it. So I, I'm just, I just have them here. I don't have them in order that they came or anything like that. I also bought some books for myself because I always like to give myself a birthday present because hell yeah, girl, you made it another year. So I'm going to start with, um, they're in order of size. <laughs> so the first one is The Martian by Andy Weir. Believe it or not, I haven't read The Martian because I watched the movie and I love the movie so much. It's one of my favorite movies. I watch it all the time. It's kind of one of those comfort movies. I know it's kind of strange. <laughs> But, you know, I love sci-fi, so it's one of my comfort movies. And this was sent to me kindly by Coffee Over Apples on BookTube. And thank you so much. This was one of the first things that I got. And when I put it out there that you could get me a present for my birthday, I really wasn't expecting anyone to. It was just because some people had asked, like, hey, do you have a wish list? And, um, yeah, I got The Martian. I'm really excited to read it. I think this is going to be such a fun read. Everybody says the same thing. And if it's anything like the movie. Also, fun fact. What's his face? Not Mark Wahlberg. I always call him Mark Wahlberg. Matt Damon. There we go. Matt Damon and I share a birthday. So do Ripley and I. Not Ripley. The actress that plays Ripley. But she will always be Ripley in my heart. So that's a pretty cool sci-fi coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yes, I got The Martian by Andy Weir. Very excited. I'm sorry, I'm gonna talk a lot because I'm really excited. Alright, the next one is something that I got myself and that is Bitter Seeds by Ian Tregillis. Trig I've talked about this in this series that you should binge video, which I will link up here. This is a crazy, crazy series about, um, okay, so we've got Nazi Germany, we've got wizards who have to use blood to use their magic and we're using the wizards to fight the Nazis because the Nazis have figured out how to make superhumans with superpowers. But the thing is, the more we use the wizards, the worse because the alien creatures that they are using to use magic are using our blood to figure out our genome and take over Earth. I... <laughs> That's all I can say about that. This is the first book in the series. I also did get the second book in the series from my uncle, but he 
bought it through Book Depository, so it hasn't gotten to me yet. So now I can have the full trilogy again, and I'm really excited. I love these covers. And if you really want a trippy sci-fi read, um, this is it. And also, I think this is one of the best, best, best foreshadowing books you will ever read. Like, the things that you read here don't make a lot of sense, but you kind of accept them in this kind of weird world until you get to the last book. And when you, when you read the last book, your mind is just fucking blown. I love it. So... Yeah, I got Bitter Seas by Ian Triolis. And just so you know, this is one of George R.R. R. Martin's favorite authors. So if you like George R.R. R. Martin's style, then you're gonna like this author. The next book I got is from my dear, dear, dear friend, Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena. And I have her note here, and here's what she says. Can't wait to hear if you hate this one too, from Lena. <laughs> Because apparently I hate every book I read. <laughs> no, I don't. I just really like to rant on them. And that is, by the way, I didn't show you the book. That is Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chang. I'm not gonna hate this. I've already read some Ted Chang, Lena, but thank you for reminding everyone that I hate everything. <laughs> oh, I love her. And I love this cover. It's so cool. And look for this in an upcoming book to movie adaptation video because Oh, I miss doing those. That was like one of my favorite things that I did, but it's really like it's a lot of work. So I'm doing that in case you don't know. It's just uh, basically it's a series I do on here where I look for a movie that I haven't seen and a book that I haven't read. I read the book. I see the movie. I tell you all the tea. All right. So yeah, this is gonna be on there all right back from a battery change i'm sorry about that <laughs> it happens to me every single video thankfully i have more than one battery but anyway the next book that i got was uh not a birthday present but it came the day before my birthday so i counted it in my head as a birthday present but anyway i sol i solicited i asked for <laughs> my old my students always say solicited so i say solicited which no, but I asked for an advanced reader's copy of, this is called Skyward Inn, and this is by Aaliyah Whitley, and it comes out in March 2021 in both the US and the UK. And this is about a inn, basically, that offers a place for people to tell stories of the time before the war with Kita. But what is it offering safety from if Kita surrendered without complaint when Earth invaded? Innkeepers Jem and S. Isley, Isley, and no, veterans from either side half regret but few scars. Their peace is disturbed when a visitor known to Isley comes to the inn asking for help, bringing reminders of an unnerving past and triggering an uncertain future. Did humanity really win the war? So that's this. Uh, this is the final cover, like this, like kind of, I can't with words today, watercolor. It's stuff it's just, it looks really good and again more sci-fi my mother when i was look when i was like opening presents she was like your favorite genre to read is sci-fi isn't it and i'm like yes you've only been my mother for 33 years you'd think you know that by now but the next one that i got was from a friend in real life um thank you so much and it's the book of phoenix by netic okorafor and this is about a person well they call her many things, a research project, a test subject, a specimen, an abomination. And it's about this woman who is basically a phoenix and they're keeping her locked in a tower and it kind of gives me Umbrella Academy vibes and hell yeah. I, I like it. I, and it. I like that it's short. <laughs> and you know, I like Nettie Okorafor. The only, the only thing that I don't like is this, this is set in New York and I am tired of books set in New York. I think I talked about that before, but I am so tired of books set in New York. You have no idea. It's like kind of an annoyance by now. Like it's, mm, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to read it eventually and tell you all my thoughts about it. Next up, we have a book that is going on the favorite books that I've ever read shelf. And that is Watch Over Me by Nina LaCour. This book just caught me by such surprise. Now, don't let anybody tell you that this is a scary book because it's really not scary. It's more like gothic Victorian horror where there's not ghosts popping up and if there are, we just accept their existence. And it's just like a beautiful book and I love the cover and the inside 
you have the illustration and I just I, I love this book is gentle this is a gentle lovely book and I got this from my parents-in-law because I was like please please give me this in physical form because I read it in audiobook form there we go words and I was just like I really need this in my life so I got Watch Over Me by Nina LaCour. I 100% recommend this. This is a new release and oof, this, this just hits in a different way. Let me just say that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And if you're watching Bly Manor right now, I think this is like the great companion to Bly Manor. Also, I binge watched Bly Manor this weekend. It was great. I didn't like it at first, but it was great. Next up, when I saw when I opened this book, I automatically knew who sent it, and that is my dear, dear friend Jessie. She sent me a really uh, great note. <laughs> she said, I haven't read this yet, but I own it and heard it was great, from Jessie. <laughs> she also said other things, but they're a little bit more personal, so I'm keeping it personal. And then this is The Disasters by MK Eng England. England, I England? England. Um, this is a book about hotshot pilot Nax has a history of making poor life choices so it's not exactly a surprise when he's kicked out of the elite Ellis Station Academy in less than 24 hours. Max one-way trip back to earth is cut short when a terrorist group attacks the Academy. Max and three other washouts escape, barely, but as the sole witness to the attack they are also the perfect scapegoats. On the run, Max and his fellow Failures plan to pull off a dangerous heist to spread the truth because they may not be academy material and they may not even get along, but they're the only ones left to step up and fight. I, I, I you know guys, I don't like YA, but this sounds really good. It sounds action packed and exciting and you know, sometimes you just want a little bit of that and I love the cover. I love, love, let me get behind it. Did it focus? Yes. I love the cover. It's so cool. I love this purple color too. I'm just really, really excited. <laughs> I'm excited for all of these books I'm, and I'm so grateful. Again, I am so, so grateful. Next up, again, when I saw this, I was like, I know exactly who sent this and this is from my friend Matt. And thank you, Matt. Thank you, Ines. I know you guys watch my videos and I appreciate it so much. And this is um, Magnificent Monster, the, ma the magnificent, magnificent Monsters of Cedar Street. And look at that cover, you guys. Look, this is about a little girl and her father is a veterinarian. And But he's not a veterinarian to normal creatures. He's a veterinarian to monstrous creatures. The thing is, they're not really monsters, they're just creatures, but we see them as monsters. And this reminds me, it's like a middle grade version of my favorite series of all time, The Monstermologist. But it also, I don't know, it gives me, it just gives me all like the cute middle grade vibes that I want. With, with where it's like spooky, but also adorable, you know? So yeah, that's all I know about this book and I'm really excited to read it. Look at that, it looks so cute. Thank you so much, Matt and Ines. <laughs> and then also from my parents-in-law. And well, I got one for my parents-in-law, one for my sisters-in-law. So if we're gonna say this is for my sisters-in-law, I got Severance by Ling Ma. You all know that I read this book. And if you don't know that I read this book, I will link up here my review where I review it. It's at the end, by the way, it's the last. That No, it's one of, no, it's not the last. Well, I'll just link it up here and you can follow time codes in the description. But basically, this is the story of a pandemic that like goes throughout the whole world. It starts in China. And I read it because of that hype, because it was like, oh my god, this is a book about a pandemic that starts in China and that invades the whole world and what happens. But the thing is, the pandemic in this world is not at all like the pandemic in the real world right now. This is like kind of a zombie-esque, kind of bird box station 11 dawn of the dead mashup okay yes you can do that and you can do it masterfully and ling ma does it i really wanted to own this book and i love that they got me this book with this book because look at them together look at them i don't i don't have pink books on my shelf and now i have look oh. Mm, they're gonna look so delicious here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Thank you so much to my, my parents-in-law. The next book that I got is a present from me to me because it was down to two euros on Amazon. So I was like, perfect time. And that is All Worlds Are Real Short, Short Fictions by Susan Palwick. 
and this is the winner of the Crawford Alex and Riesling Awards. I don't know any of those awards, but you, just so you know, it won. So basically, this is beautifully, beautifully crafted, unfailingly strange, and always moving. Susan Palwick's story shifts effortlessly between fantasy and science fiction, magical realism, and horror. Here you will encounter alien ghosts and robots, along with a colorful assortment of eccentric and vulnerable humans. Need I say more? It's got sci-fi. It's got horror. It's got ghosts. It's got robots. Yeah, it's got fantasy too. Okay, fine. I don't like fantasy that much, but you know, it's got the rest of it. So <laughs> I got it for myself and I'm really excited to read it. Um, I, I have not been very good about reading short story collections, but I'm getting there. I'm starting to enjoy them more. There's a sense of satisfaction when you finish a short story and you're like, I finished something. Yeah, I also love the cover of this. It reminds me of the cover of the World of the World, the War of the Worlds book that I used to have when I was younger. Spoiler alert, don't have it anymore because I don't like it. And then the last two books that I got are from my dear, dear friend, Sarah. Sarah just went way above and beyond anything and thank you so much, Sarah. I will link her channel up above. Please go watch her, she's amazing. She's mostly an adult fantasy reader and she really focuses on reading fantasy by women and you know being really critical of the whatever it is that she reads and that's something that i feel is so important to not just read and read and read but also be critical of what you're reading and well the first one she got me is american gothic by silvia moreno garcia i'm already reading this but i'm so like delighted to have it in person it's such a beautiful book and I'm gonna be honest with you, I think we need so much more representation of um, Latinx and BIPOC authors in horror. Like, we need it. We need it. And the last book that I got, and I, Sarah got it for me, it's The Year of the Wishing, Witching by Alexis Henderson. I'm really excited to read this. This book has been popping all over booktube, and I just have no idea what it's about, and I don't care because you guys know that I love to go into books like that. So I got these two books from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. You really didn't have to, but when these came in, it really, really did make my day. Like it was amazing. And that's it. Thank you so much for your generosity. Please leave me questions down below. I mean, if I don't get enough questions, I won't do the Q and A. I'll, I'll like do it when I get to 2,000 subscribers or something. But if you have a burning question to ask me, please do ask, and I will answer candidly and um, truthfully. So, with that being said, I have to edit this and get it up for you today. So, without any further ado, I bid you adieu and I thank you for coming to my videos, for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And as always, I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!